Alright, so today I will be showing you my top six drift cars that I love to drive. You can also make these cars. This particular car is off the auto shop lift, so if you look up the auto shop lift glitch, you are able to do that with that vehicle. This has low grips and F1s on it. This one has low grips and Vinnies on it. And then these, this one right here, this one right here. This one, this one, this one, and that one are all street vehicles you can do with my glitch. If you look at my uh, description, it will be down below. Appreciate it. Give me a sub and a like. I'd appreciate that as well. So we're going to get into the ratings real quick. This car right here, collectively, 10 out of 10. Love driving it. Probably good, great power. Probably the best power in this garage. Power to... Probably one of my favorite cars to drive as my controller studying. Just give me one second. But yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Definitely, definitely a good car to get. This right here, I'd say this is a 9.9, .9, bro. This one, you get up to 160 miles per hour, it swings real well. It's controllable, not too powerful. Yeah, that's what that's what that car. Um, moving on to this car. This car, I'd say it's a it's a 8.5. It definitely slides. It has the power. It's more of like a mess around car. You're just drifting the parking lot with your buddies, not trying to do nothing competitive. These two right here are more like you're going up against somebody back to back, like battles, like a FD. If you know what that is, formula drift, the highest tier of drifting. If you're drifting like that, say so this car right here. I'd say this one's a it's a eight in my book for drifting. It's not bad but it's not that good compared to like something like this or something like that this one right here this is another like fun haver car definitely you can have fun with this one slide it it's a uh, all-wheel drive i'll show you guys all the sliding when i get done rating all these cars so stay tuned for that so right here i'd give this one a nine it's really fun really competitive definitely up there with this car and this car this one i think this is one this one's just four gags in my opinion it's definitely a good car it can slide it can hold its own it's more of like a, if you want to tandem with your buddies type thing, like they have one, you have one, they're, they're fun to slide. And then that's all of them, that's all the ratings for this this garage right here. I'm going to go take them out one by one if you want to pay attention. You can uh, see, all how, see how they drift, you know. This one's like a boat to land yacht. Definitely a good car to drift on. As you can tell, holding the circle pretty tight. And by the way, these are all on low grips. Every last car in here is on low grips. So don't buy these cars thinking you're gonna be able to slide them like this. I do have the link down in the description to my video on how to make any street vehicle on low grips, any street vehicle that you can put in your garage on low grips. And then this is the 10 out of 10 here. It definitely slides the best in here. This is more of like a export car in my opinion. But as you can tell, it can hold a lot of angle. It has a lot of power to get you out of whatever you need to get out of. Definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book. If you guys are curious, I do stream every bit every day. So join up. I'll let you guys drive these cars, test drive them. If you're really interested in that, just let me let me know what you want me to call out for you guys. Definitely be down for that. We're gonna move on to this one. I, I said this was a 9.9. .9. Very competitive car. It's a little bit slower, but it's definitely a very competitive car. If you're running somebody, they have like a Futo or something like that. This is definitely a car I would go to. Holds its angle. Has decent power. As I loop it. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely a go-to car for me if I'm just having fun with my buddies and stuff like that. More of an open parking lot type of car. Doesn't like the circle that much. The texture of the ground here. It's a little bit slicker than, let's say, regular asphalt when you're in GTA. If you guys need any help, leave comments down below. 
I will be answering those. And also, uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the sub button. I think we're nearly at 250 subs, so I'd appreciate it. Move on to the Crown Vic. The uh, Drift Taxi, you know. This is one of those cars you slide around with your friends, have fun. Just like the Washington in there, the black car. Definitely enjoyable. Something something that you feel right sliding in. You feel like Cletus McFarlane, you know what I mean? Alright, we're going to move on to these this Mercedes right here. This one has a lot of power. It's just like the uh, number 10 in there, but you can tell it's just tail happy because it doesn't have a lot of uh, rear end to keep it there compared to the four-door version of this. But it definitely still slides and holds its own. I'd put this one up against the, uh, what is it, the Mustang in there. Definitely a fun car to drive though. guys are interested I'm am gonna be doing a giveaway here soon a few few lucky subscribers is gonna get some vehicles I'll personally give them to them so if you're interested in that hit the sub button I do stream every day I'd appreciate it just trying to grow you know beside this this one's more for wide corners I'm gonna take this one out of the circle really fun this one has a decent amount of power and it just holds its drift for the most part ranking here I rank this one number one for me at least may not fit your style I rank this one number one I'd say this one right here number two this one right here number three number four number five number six and number seven right here but yeah leave it down in the comments let me know what you think about these cars let me know if you guys want to see any particular vehicle I don't already have on low grips from the street. I will make it, and I'll drift it for you guys. I'll give you guys an accurate description on how it drifts, how it feels, does it have enough power, yes or no, that type of thing. So just let me know. Leave comments down below. I'd appreciate it. I do respond to them. Respond to every last car. So everyone, with that being said, that is my ranking on my garage. I'd appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. And I will be up for stream tomorrow. The next day, the next day, the next day, I stream every day. So hop in the stream, say hello. If you don't even have GTA 5, hop in the stream, say hello. Watch the stream. We do car meets, drifting, everything. But with that being said, I'll be out of here. You guys have a great night, great day.